Yo, what's up, boys? This is my lock screen wallpaper, but for now, I'm just putting it as an image. Uh, man, I, I look at this image and I, I feel so immersed by it. I know it's not real, I know it's purely scientific imagination, but I cannot help but be completely and utterly immersed by this. It's insane. Don't even say it. I'm reading a manga called Meza Metara Saikyo Sobi to Ichu Sen Mochi Date no De Iku Iko Date Meza Shite Yohe Toshite Jiyu Ni Iketai. What was the English name of this shit, man? When I woke up, I got the strongest equipment and a starship, and so I went to pick and became a mercenary in order to live it as I pleased while aiming for a detached house. It has a stupid name, but in honesty, it has a really compelling plot and a really overall good fundamental story. As I look at images of space and, and I watch this, I read this ma manga of space travel, and I read this like a long time ago when it had eight chapters. Only eight chapters. Now it has thirty. When it only had eight chapters, that was roughly around three years ago. And now it is on its thirtieth chapter of three years of you know development. Only a chapter a month, you know, and it's not even consistently a chapter a month because if it was a chapter a month, be it would be yours twelve times three. Th 36 chapters over three years it's actually more like three years and a half so that would be 36 plus six is 42 roughly 42 chapters maybe 42 to 50 chapters but they only have 30 chapters that are actually behind on schedule i don't know if they're behind on rules as well i might go to Japan. i was actually thinking about learning japanese in order to try to catch up on the rules and stuff because i want to know what's going on in the story but so effort and my lazy ass was just like did it for like a day or like a few days and I just stopped and I went up, ended up going back to being a spurg retard which kind of really hurt me it really hurt so I want to talk about in this video is the fact that I'm hyper obsessed with space like this guy it, it's crazy like he wakes up in this new world he has a, like a new life and everything he has as, as I've counted six bitches that want to be on his dick he only has two, he has two main side side chicks. Then he's he's had four other girls show interest and desperately want some of that D. Like just for existing, not necessarily for existing. He's a competent individual. He's rich. I'm assuming he has to be handsome. He's tall. He's, he's has to be fucking well endowed or some shit. And he's Japanese. Okay. Did not actually know. Maybe no. I. I was thinking to myself, like, bro, I really want to go to space. Like, I'm hyper obsessed with this shit. Something's all about. Yeah. 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 My lock screen, a work laptop. I, I kind of don't want to really give it back, but I have to give it back in a month time. Uh, I probably have to like log out everything, delete my passwords and everything. I don't think it'll be too hard to try to recover the passwords. I'll probably be better. Yeah, I really like this background. It's much more than the Chuando Tan image that I put up before. Chuando Tan is like some super handsome. Asian photographer, director, model, super rich guy, super tall, super handsome. I already mentioned that. He's like quadruple handsome. Not double handsome, not triple handsome, quadruple handsome. And he's like 50 something. So he's like, he's aged wonderfully. Looks great for his age. Can't help but be immersed by this image. Like, um, you know, like some hypnosis videos where you do this. I'm just immersed by this image of space. And I cause you to think to myself, if I was born like 500 years later, not even 500, would humanity even be developed that well after 500 years? Probably not. Elon would be dead. 
so I think space travel would hold by a lot maybe it's a few guys down the line get inspired by Elon and then they continue on the business they continue to you know do that maybe Elon gets cryoed I think that's what's, that's what's gonna happen you know Musk is gonna get cryogenically you know, preserved because he probably wants to see the future for himself which I want to make enough money so I can start seeing the future for myself too like I always had this plan in my mind where I wanted to get into cryogenics I wanted to freeze my grandparents I wanted to freeze my mom I want to freeze myself I want to get a bunch of money like a bunch of regular estate passive income sources and then that pays for the cryogenics I literally thought about this I was like fucking 10 years old and the reason I thought about this is because of I, uh, like I said before in another video, I'm obsessed with skies. So I was this morning or this evening. I'm obsessed with skies. I'm obsessed with the weather. I'm obsessed with looking up and planes and stuff. But more so, I'm obsessed with space. There's trouble. I just I would really hope for the day for space travel to be commoditized. When space travel is a commodity, I think life would be so much more fun. You get to experience so much more. I mean, of course your life can be fun on this planet, but I don't even know. I don't think I can mention a single time where I've had fun, especially recently. Like within the last month, I mean, maybe can't bring mom out to dinner, paying for her dinner, and it's more sign of gesture of love. But I don't know. I, think I don't have like a single moment. I genuinely like had pure bliss. All my moments in life so far has just been sad as fuck. <laughs> and I don't mean to like you know bring around a pessimistic atmosphere. Usually I'm a completely utterly optimistic person, and I'd like to remain so because it's more beneficial to me to be optimistic. I'd like to create a bunch of money, etc., etc. But this, bro, it's just it's breathtaking. I just want to paint in my room, man. Mm -hmm. My room can smell like paint tomorrow. Fuck's sake. I'm really tired. The light's on. It's 11.47pm. How long have I used my phone today? Seven hours, Jesus Christ. Two hours of Clash of Clans, three hours of Chrome for reading manga. <sighs> Honestly, I shouldn't be doing this shit. I should be actively trying to make more income. I've almost read this entire thing in a day. Three years of work, I just read it in a day. I'm trying to skip all right, I was before. Honestly, it's inside a lot of jealousy in me. I'm not reading this manga. I don't know how to tell this video. Actually, I'm obsessed with space travel, but it's not really clickbaity. Do I really want to be clickbait? Yeah, I do. <laughs> get the views, bro. Get that money. I'm so obsessed with space travel. It's killing me. But it effectively, it is, is, to be honest. Because this idea of just being free and traveling the universe is like, on my mind. A lot. And I'm tired of going into escapism. I quit Manwar. I haven't really read Manwar. I read a few here and there, honestly. I can't quit me. The old ha habits die hard, right? But it didn't hit the same like I like I wanted it to because I'm like yeah I'm gonna quit. Spent seven hours. Imagine I spent seven hours reading today instead of on my phone, bro. I would have finished my book. I could have moved on to another book. I could have 
learned so much. I could have went through some courses, could have like, you know, tried to make some money, prospect some clients, have some real life tangible ROI, but no, I spent it on Clash of Clans and reading manga. And I'm gonna be like, make another video, oh yeah, I quit manga. Don't want for me to relapse. I apologize for the lack of enthusiasm in this video. I don't know how to be enthusiastic in this video. The concept of freedom, the concept of self-actualization has been in my mind for so long. I can remember the feelings I got, like I said before in the other video, when I left my trainership work, going home. The, freedom, the feeling of freedom and liberation that I felt. Happiness. Genuine happiness. That was the only time I felt genuine happiness when I didn't have to go to work. Other than that, it felt pretty... I'm done and mundane about life. I don't know how to say this, but there's nothing really to be happy for. If I was making a bunch of money, I would be happy. I know that for sure. I got a comment recently, um, and I was pointing to this guy who was like super depressed and shit, and I reminded me of myself, I was like, you know what, just get money, get your life together, and a life worth living, and then someone clipped, just get money, I can get a screenshot of this, I'm gonna make it, I, I, it's gonna be a clip, after I'm gonna, I'm done with this, this is gonna be a clip, and I'm gonna clip it up, and I got the screenshot by the way as well, and then he said to me, oh, just, just get money, in, in, um, what is this called? Like an emphasis in what's this called again? Bro, how do I get A in English? Like I said, just get money and life worth living. Man the hell up. Da -da -da -da. <gasps> Stop sulking. I used to be here, bro. Da -da -da -da. And then explain my story a bit. I think. Was this another comment? I don't think I explained my story in this one actually. And then I said like good luck. And then the comment I got was like just get money, lay on a railroad track. We're telling me, basically telling me to off myself. And I realized this part, like, this person's not fucking real, by the way. First of all, some Bekuta, I don't remember his name. Some weeb profile pic telling me to kill myself. I was off myself, pardon me. Shut the fuck up, bro. You're a fucking pussy. You don't know what I've been through. That person genuinely deserves hate. What a spug. Fucking Jeffrey, bro. <laughs> what was interesting is that there's literal studies that show that making money makes you happier. It gives you a better sense of inner locus of control. You know, poor people usually have a lower sense of in a locus of control and rich people usually have a higher sense of look in a locus of control this is why so many stupid people that are just born rich like you're better off being stupid and born rich than being incredibly smart but born poor because then if you're incredibly smart and born poor you still have to go through immense trial and tribulation to reach a level of financial satisfaction with yourself in order to you know have that sense of in a locus of control just get money it's not about just the money and i mentioned this as well and people are arguing with me in the comment section and I, and I didn't reply by the way after a while then i replied again because i'm a dickhead because i love making people angry but money is just not for happiness and i think money does not buy happiness it buys freedom money is not happiness i said it like in a comment and he replied to me well money and then he replied me with an argument on why money doesn't buy happiness are you a fucking idiot? Are you genuinely a fucking idiot? Clearly you are. You are a fucking idiot. 
money does buy happiness. There's studies that show this. If you're making 100 grand more, you would be happy in a year. 100 grand more in a year. You'll be, you would be happier. There's a, it's a lie. 75K and then there's a diminishing return. That's a lie. More money, more problems. That's true. But more problems means more problems you can solve. And solving problems is amazing. It's an immense amount of satisfaction of solving problems and getting fucking paid for it. As an entrepreneur, you'll know this. Oh, but money doesn't buy happiness. Where do these people live? Under a fucking rock? Are they all hikikomoris? All hermits? Jesus fucking Christ. I was thinking to myself, like, these people are fucking real. I've genuinely felt nothing but shame looking at this anime profile pic telling me to off myself. Lay in a railroad track. I said, I said I'll lay in a railroad track and smash the fucking train. <laughs> Some goofy shit. That's exactly what will happen, by the way. I totally wouldn't get crushed. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> I will never off myself. Because then you win. You fucking weak geek weeboo. You win. I don't want that, do I? You stupid nerd ass to win. You're a fucking geek. Bro, I, that, that guy is such a fucking geek. You know, it really reminds me. Like in all the universe, in all of creation, out of every single possibility, you were born. You were the sperm. That fucking prank uh, thing. It inseminated the egg. And you're such a waste of space. It's like actually fucking insane. Just get money. But it's not about the money. It's about the freedom. It's about the life worth living for. It's about paying off your, your debt. It's about retiring your parents. If you have any, you clearly don't. I'm saying that with half a parent, bro. I have a, I have a mom, a single mom. <laughs> Crazy. Not wrong though. Usually the single mom and father's kids that end up that way. I don't know why. I do have to say though, there are moments in my life where I do consider myself immensely feminine. I need to break it up with friendship. Not masculine at all. The transition from turning to a boy to a man, like I had to seek uh, exterior sources in order to try to do this and I had to turn from a boy to a man and even then I am relatively unsuccessful a lack of father figure is very very alarming and I do consider I probably would be more successful with a father figure of course there are successful figures without fathers that's not, really, that's not really like stupid here but yeah more likely, more disciplined. I mean, I don't know how my father was like. But I don't know if I had a strong masculine father who, like, made sure I was disciplined, made sure I was stoic, made sure that I cared about people around me, made sure I was a good guy, then I probably would be in a very, very good position in life. And, he, and if he was intelligent as well, and he showed intelligence, like, he's a fucking idiot dad. Idiot dad, family life, modern family. Shut the fuck up, bro. No, I'm a catch. I still remember that shit. When that fat old man who's balding talks about how he's a fucking catch. Bro, you're broke, you're balding, you're fat, you're ugly. You're not a catch to anybody. Bro, you're the type of fish that would get caught and then thrown back into the ocean, bro. They put a mercy in your ass. No one's gonna keep you. And the teen is only there for paperwork. What the fuck? I'm expecting more hate comments like this to arrive. I have quite controversial points. I'm expecting them in full force. I know that life will continue on the same. Like, I'm not going to see these people. These people don't go outside. <laughs> people don't go outside. They already exist purely on the internet. I'm expecting more hate, more and more hate comments. I don't expect them to stop anytime soon. In fact, I do want them because they make me more successful. 
I'm not, if I'm not being hated on, I'm not doing something fucking right. That's for sure. But then again, Hitler was hated on. Bro, shut up, bro. Am I killing Jews or by the dozen? Nope. I already know these guys. So these guys are so stupid, man. Jeffries, actual Jeffries. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.